New tonight, we are learning new information about 19-year-old Dela Ferrer. She is one of two people arrested in the kidnapping of a Garland County teen. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10 o'clock, everyone. I'm Bob Clausen. Tonight, parents are saying her occupation has them raising red flags. Jessica Rank joining us in the studio tonight with more on this. And Jessica, what were you able to find out? Well, yeah, Bob, this is a photo that has been circulating on social media since Wednesday. It's a screenshot of what parents tell me is Fair's profile on a nannying site looking for jobs to babysit kids in Hot Springs. How can a person that is involved in something like this just be posting in a nanny site, you know, to gain access to these kids so easily? A screenshot of an employee profile has Hot Springs mother, Jordan Teague, rethinking everything. You just can't trust anybody. Today, she sits at Entergy Park, her kids hand in hand as she replays events from days prior. Once you have a kid, it is a totally different feeling when you see this happening. Eyes now turn to 19-year-old Dela Ferrer at the center of a kidnapping case in Hot Springs, accused of playing a role in the abduction of a 17-year-old girl. I've definitely seen a lot of this is why I don't trust anybody, this is why I don't use those sites. Ferrer's name on a popular nannying site searching for jobs in the area. Well, Facebook was just blowing up. Her profile lists two years experience caring for infants and toddlers, CPR certified, and a note, quote, I love kids and they love me. Teague says it has moms second guessing. And sometimes you just need that last minute babysitter. And it's so easy to go on these sites and find them and bring them in. Raising concerns now of who you're letting into your home. About how this can be regulated. Is there something these sites can do to make sure that these people aren't posting on here? Teague says she doesn't know the answer, but one thing's for sure. You just never truly know people and their intentions, and your kids are too precious to play around with. Now, Teague says she will only allow family to watch her kids from now on, and for other mothers who she says aren't lucky to be able to stay home, she's advising them, make sure you trust the person before letting them in your home. Reporting in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.